Britwin is a website. Everybody loves Britwin. They have a Nikkei tier list. But guess what? With tier list comes drama! Drama. So if you guys haven't seen it, apparently Britwin has ranked Scarlet Black Shadow. This is the rankings here. So Scarlet Black Shadow is not on SSS tier. Alright? It's nowhere to be seen. Not on SSS tier. It's not even on SS tier. It's behind A2 and Maxwell. Britwin has put Scarlet Black Shadow at S tier. Same tier with Snow White Innocent Days that you obtain for free. Same tier as Heron. Okay, first things first, I'm going to say, I'm going to tell you guys, I disagree with this. Because yesterday, I was stuck at the hard campaign for the longest time ever. Uh, at the hard campaign. I couldn't pass the hard campaign. But yesterday, I was stuck somewhere here. I was like stuck somewhere here. And then I beat here, beat here, beat here, beat here, beat here. After I have Scarlet Black Shadow, I, now I managed to reach all the way here. Now I'm like all the way here. So I, I'm pretty sure Scarlet Black Shadow is definitely one of the strongest characters. Which previously I have Scarlet and um, Red Hood and I couldn't accomplish that. So based upon my personal experience, I already uh, feel like that's like not super accurate. But again, I'm willing to give them the benefit of the doubt, you know, depends on how they test, right, per se. So for boss solo, Britwin did place at the SSS tier, okay? Britwin did place Scarlet Black Shadow at SSS. Okay, okay, this one, I can agree. So how about boss with ads, meaning boss with like small mobs like Mother Will and stuff. So Scarlet Black Shadow is no longer here, but in the SS tier. Okay, SS tier. Very interesting. So how about PvP? PvP, okay, PvP, whatever, right? Not the highest tier, but second highest. Okay, I can agree with that. So the one that I disagree with is probably story lead. And maybe boss with ads, I feel like she should be here. So that's again my personal... uh. Uh, opinion, but let's let's okay. Let let let's be fair. Let's read what they have to say. All right, we're gonna go into Scarlet Black Shadow now. Before we proceed, I want you guys to know. All right, we don't have to be toxic about this. Uh, we can just take everything objectively. There's a chance that they could update this next week. They could probably update this next week and change things accordingly. So let's have a look at um for a full review. Okay, let's just look at their, uh, their, their points here, pros and cons. So inflicts consistent damage against all sorts of bosses, has core or not. I agree. Very good. Distributed damage is a great tool for addressing the gimmicks of certain bosses, including Mother Will, also low Red, Material H. Okay, I like that as well. Ranks as one of the strongest DPS in game, especially for bossing. Definitely. Very auto-friendly, good for Boomerhams, agree. He, she is very auto-friendly. In fact, she's not manual friendly at all. I, I feel like, at least for me, I couldn't get used to the pattern, right? The only win DPS burst free worth investing right now, definitely. Doesn't rely on max ammo overload gear as much. Yeah, that's fair, that's fair. You only need one or two, and if you have Blanc and Noir, she doesn't need that, that as much. Pulling her means your friends can't mock you for being scarletless anymore. Wait, who even write this, man? Whoa, 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 what is this? Cons. <laughs> Pilgrim. Hard to get copies outside of special banner. Why is this a thing when we when, when we gauge the character's lead, uh, tier list? Why, why is it? Oh, it's a pilgrim. Minus one. Need a lot of skill investments to be fully optimal, but the breakpoint is only on skill too. I agree with this, but again, I, I don't think this is a... The higher intern. <laughs> Doesn't this apply to all DPS characters? Is this a thing that's unique to her, right? Red Hood has this issue as well, right? Alice has this issue as well. So pretty much a lot of characters has this issue per se. So I don't think this is unique to this particular Scarlet. So this is a, not a point that I would like give it a minus one. Has some serious counters in PvP like Sakura. Sak Sakura? Sakura in PvP? No way Sakura in PvP. Yo, who in the right mind is using Sakura? DPS is too scattered and unreliable when fighting against too many enemies at once. Disagree. Hard disagree. I still think that the distributed damage is good because uh, she is an AOE. If you activate the burst, she will be able to do a lot. I don't think this is an issue for her at all. Uh, in fact, she is very, very strong. Uh, I can show you guys like uh, one of my footage. Uh, I basically managed to fight in the story, in the campaign. Like there's a lot of enemies on the map. So I don't think this is an issue at all. 
Yeah, she have AOE. So this is not a, a big issue at all. So I, I don't know what this means. Be careful. Too much salt makes you unhealthy. Like what is this? Like what, what, what is this, huh? Jetstream Samlet. <laughs> it's not as versatile as the other burst tree for campaign and tower because her lack of stable AOE DPS. Huh? Do you agree with Prit Wins <laughs> ranking for Scarlet? Why is Heron having these grades are considered SS and Scarlet BS with better grades are only S? Some ratings are just outdated, they should reevaluate the whole thing if they are serious. I've always found Prit Wins tier list kinda shit to be honest. I swear they don't do any testing with overload gears, which is where characters really come into their own. I'm sure they encounter overload gears and even team buff to estimate her damage. SBS can clear screen for full burst duration, whereas regular Scarlet only clears screen once at the start, what am I missing? When it comes to tier list, everyone has their own biases, right? You can disagree, that's fine. I disagree as well. I think Scarlet Black Shadow is... I think she's the best character right now in the game. But again, I do have investments. You guys saw me testing for 2 or 3 hours, or at least 4 to 5 hours even, right? Um, I don't know how did they, how the Bright Ones test it, and if they do test it, who is testing it, right? Again, you know, I love I love Pritwin, big Pritwin fan. But you know, sometimes I do disagree with them, but hey, that, that's how it is, you know. She's still able to wipe the screen with 2 or 3 AoE, even with a lot of raptures on the screen. S tier in late story is a bit harsh. She should be SS at least by their standard. So yeah, as you can see from a lot of other players, it seems to be... Everyone seems to be having conflicted thoughts regarding this latest Scarlet Black Shadow. You can see right here, anecdotal... But I have far better results on campaign with not geared Scarlet than Modernia. What? <laughs> so this guy didn't even gear his Scarlet. I think he meant a not overload gear Scarlet versus Modernia. Okay, so that's going to be quite interesting. And also, um, some here that says I better results with Scarlet uh, Black Shadow than Modernia recently pushed past floor 170 to 175 with Scarlet uh, Black Shadow. I think it's talking about the Trike Tower. I prefer sticking to Nikkei.gg for reviews. Pritwin doesn't care about Nikkei as much as Honkai Star Rail. <laughs> it, did, it does feel like the community is divided regarding Scarlet Black Shadow as a whole, as a character. Now again, I do not have like Core 7, Limit Break 3. I don't have like insane multiple dupes and stuff. But you know, I do have Overlord Gears and you can see she has been pretty good. I feel like she's on par with Red Hood in a lot of situation, if not even better. Like everyone is allowed to have their opinion based upon their own personal testing, right? Based upon your gears. Some of you guys might have varying different opinions because you have different gears on different characters. Uh, I do think that that's going to be something that's very important, right? Nothing when you test a character, you gotta make sure that you have the same gears across all these characters, right? So I can't really compare to my Alice because you can see uh, I'm lacking one overload gear here. But I can definitely compare with my Modernia because I have full overload gears on Modernia. I have full overload gears on Scarlet. I have uh, full overload gears on my, my other Scarlet, my default Scarlet, and also I have full overload gears on Red Hood as well. So for me, I was able to make that comparison easily, right? And you know, based upon the bosses and stuff. But yeah, let me know what you guys think overall of Scarlet Black Shadow. Do you guys agree? I would love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comment section below. As always, subscribe, give this video a like, and I'll That's see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.